Okay, today we are going to be creating an explosion. So we're going to start out by fitting to screen, Command-0. And then we are going to create a new layer. Layer, new layer, and we're going to name it Explosion. Now we're going to set our foreground and background color to default black and white, which we can do by hitting the D key, D as in dog, on our keyboard. And then I'm going to hit X to flip it so that I'm using white. At this point, I'm going to grab my brush tool. The shortcut for the brush tool is B as in boy. Using the brush tool, um, right now I'm using a hard edge. I'm going to switch it to a soft edge by pulling my hardness to zero. And I'm basically going to paint a big blob here. Okay, with my blob painted, I'm now going to switch to the smudge tool, which you will find hiding underneath the little teardrop, which is the blur tool. So we're going to grab the smudge tool. And with my smudge tool, I'm going to keep my hardness on zero, and I'm going to use the bracket keys next to the P key to adjust the size of my smudge tool. Using the smudge tool, I'm going to pull out the edges to create the shape of my explosion. Everyone's will look different. Okay, and now after I am done with that, I'm going to lock the transparency. The, transpa the transparency is locked over here in the layer panel next to where it says lock this little checkerboard that indicates transparency. I'm going to lock the transparency which will then you will see a little lock right here. Now I'm going to choose a yellow and a red for my foreground and background color. So I'm going to click in my foreground color, choose a yellow, and then I'm going to click in my background color and I'm going to choose a red. With my red and yellow selected, I'm going to apply the clouds filter. Filter, render, clouds. Filter, render, clouds. Okay, so you will see the cloud is now contained inside of the explosion shape because we locked the transparency. Next, we will set our foreground and background color back to default black and white by using the shortcut D as in dog on the keyboard. Now we will apply the clouds filter again. Filter, render, clouds. When we do this, it appears to knock all the color out, but we will actually, in the next step, be combining the yellow and red with the black and white. Okay, the next shortcut is going to pull up um, our ability to do um, change the um, for our desired effect. So the shortcut we are now going to do is Shift-Command-F. Please do it in that order. Again, Shift-Command-F on the Mac. If you are using a PC, it's Shift-Control-F in that order. Press the keys in that order. That will pull up your fade um, dialog box. You're going to change the mode right here from normal to linear light. Whoops. When you change it to linear light, you should now see some of the black, white, yellow, and red coming through with a little orange. Go ahead and click OK. And you are almost done with your project. You are simply going to turn the visibility on on our layer 4, which is our city layer. And now at this point, you can flatten and save. Layer, flatten image, file, save as, and then you can go ahead and save.